what is up this year, LA in a minute, and I have literally been itching all summer to cover this topic. These new invasive mosquitoes in Los Angeles. What are they? Where did they come from? Why are they so undetectable? And why do they only bite below the knee? Let's get into it. So the species of mosquito is new to LA and it's called Aedes. They're smaller, they're faster, they're smarter, they're more tenacious, and they bite mostly below the knee. They can also pierce through clothing and they can breed in sources of water as small as a bottle cap. Mm. What makes these guys different is that they fly low to the ground, they strike during the day, and they prefer human blood to that of birds or any other animals. They often strike multiple times in rapid succession. But where did they come from? So the National Institute of Health says that these 80s mosquitoes first hitched a ride to Los Angeles County on shipments of lucky bamboo from China in 2001. However, it wasn't until the species was discovered in El Monte in 2011 that the complaints started to rise and the itchiness started to persist all over Los Angeles. Now these 80s mosquitoes can't fly far, but they're tenacious, that word keeps popping up, and very smart. A female mosquito can lay her eggs in your car, and then all of a sudden those eggs hatch, and now they're in a different part of the city, invasive indeed. Now these are the mosquitoes we grew up with in LA. They're called Kulex mosquitoes. They're slow, they're dumber, and they'd rather bite birds than humans, so typically your mosquito bites would be on your upper body. And again, these little suckers, the Aedes, they're tiny, they're smart, they're fast, and they prefer human blood rather than animal blood. They will follow you inside your car or inside your house to get a meal, and their coloring makes them harder to spot. What's more, they love to bite below the knee where it's harder to swat them. Now, even though the 80s mosquitoes have not been linked to West Nile or Zika or any of the other deadly diseases mosquitoes are known to carry, the California Department of Public Health has launched an aggressive campaign to try to eradicate or at least contain this invasive species. Now, the department advises you call your local vector control agency if you see these little pests, but there are three steps you could take to minimize the risk of the 80s mosquito causing you that nuisance. Number one, use insect repellent. Number two, stay inside during dawn or dusk. Number three, avoid even small pools of water and try to reduce standing water around where you work or live. Now, these things are invasive. They're a funny story, and luckily they're not causing major damage, but now you know where they come from. All right, LA, it's been a minute.